Hello and welcome to Back to School Night for Glasgow Middle School. Today is Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. Um, and just to let you know, if you would like a YouTube translation, we have those available in both Spanish and Arabic. Or if you would just like closed captioning in English, that's also an option below. But like I was saying, welcome to my Back to School Night presentation. My name is Miss Belwar, and I teach English 6, along with Miss Trisha Cotter. A little bit about me. Um, I was born and raised in Pennsylvania. I got my bachelor's in English from Penn State, and then I went and taught English in Spain for two years, and came back, got my MA in TESOL from Westchester University, and now I'm teaching. This is my first year at Glasgow Middle School, and I'm very excited to be here along with all of the first years for your students, um, your children. A bit about me, some fun facts. I do speak some Spanish. It's by no means perfect, but I'm always happy to practice. Um, and then I've started learning Japanese, but I'm not very good at that one yet. Uh, some of my interests include soccer, baking, traveling, reading, running, painting, watching TV and sleeping. And I've already talked to a lot of your children about our shared interests in class. So uh, further information about me and what my beliefs are in terms of student learning. I believe that students learn best when they want to come to class. So I strive to make the class as inviting of a place as possible. I also think it's important that they engage and participate in order to get the most out of their experience. I also think they learn best when they feel that they are part of a community. So that means that they feel like they belong and they feel like their voices matter. I also think it helps them when they think critically and make connections between the material they are learning and their lives. To be successful, students will need to be present and attentive for all of our classes. They will need to participate meaningfully in class activities. And Ms. Carter and I have pressed how much we love participation in our classes. Um, your children will be able to do so in their own personal writings, in the chat, and also with their audio on our video classes. They will also need to complete all assignments, including independent work. Um, so that will happen on Mondays and then also sometimes during our classes, as well as the asynchronous days on Mondays. And they can find all of these assignments on Google Classroom. And then I think students will also need to be aware that they can reach out to me or Ms. Cotter at any time if they have any questions. As far as curriculum goes, uh, your students will be learning a lot about English and language arts this year. They'll be learning about communication and collaboration. For reading, they'll read fiction, literary nonfiction, and poetry, as well as nonfiction texts. For writing, they'll produce narrative, expository, persuasive, and reflective texts. And they'll also analyze different grammar, um, material, and mechanics. And finally, we'll also uh, work on some research throughout the year. For grading and assessments, your students will have multiple types of assessment, assessments. The first is formative assessments. Um, these happen in the middle of learning and they help us as teachers understand what is actually being learned and what we can maybe improve so that your students learn best. Alternatively, summative assessments happen at the end of learning and their judgments about what content and skills have been learned by your children. Besides those two forms, there's also other types of feedback that we utilize, including how well your students are organized and how well they're behaving in school. Um, this will also include asynchronous and homework. And for teacher support, these are ways that us as teachers, we as teachers, can support your children in school. Um, one of the biggest tools that you'll have access to is Blackboard 24-7. On this website, the teachers will post our office hours, the syllabus for the year, our contact information. I've also put my email at the bottom. Um, it's covered up at the moment, but it's there. Uh, and then also the weekly grid, which I'll talk about in a second. And then for students, we also post on the Google Classroom. That's where your students will have most access to everything. There will be assignments posted and different announcements. Um, most of what they need is right on the Google Classroom. 
we'll also post the grid that's for the students and you as parents for support um, that will happen weekly and it will be a little summary of what they will complete when in class and if they have any homework and like i said my email is listed at the bottom if you or your student has any questions then supporting your child you as parents also have the opportunity to support your child to support your children from home you could ask them questions like what are you learning in class or show me the grid that from your class um, for homework, you can ask what assignments do you have to do, what do you need to complete them, and let's look at your grid together. And you've heard grid a lot, that's an excellent resource just to give you a summary and a clear picture of what's happening. And then as parents, I also want to remind you to remind your children uh, to take short breaks between classes. Um, I know that they have a fairly long lunch break and then 15 minutes in between each class. And while some students are super eager to learn and very excited to be in class and get there 15 minutes early, I think it's also important for you to remind them that they can take those breaks and they should take those breaks so they're not just looking at screens for the entire day. As far as supplies go, your students should all have pencils or pens and binders with loose leaf paper or a notebook, uh, basically something to write down notes while they're taking class. Uh, they should also have their Glasgow Middle School agenda with them and of course their FCPS computer. And that's it for today. I look forward to an amazing year with you and your children and it was great to be able to share some of that with you today.